So I'm making this video just out of my own curiosity and to see what we find when I put some filaments on the microscope. I'm going to try to make this to be a quick video. If you guys want to see more detailed information, you can check out the link to the Nathan Builds Robots video about carbon fiber reinforced filaments below, which is what prompted me to take a look and make our own video. In this video, I have four different filaments we're trying out. We're going to have a basic ABS as kind of our control so you guys can see what a normal filament looks like. And if it leaves any little residue or fibers behind, it shouldn't because there's no fill in these. And then I've got a roll of the atomic. I've got a roll of atomic carbon fiber PET G, a roll of the coax nylex glass reinforced nylon. And then I have a roll of our own spaghetti carbon fiber PETG. And the ABS is just our electric lime ABS that we sell in our Easy Choice line. In addition to looking at the filaments, I also have a drone here that I built with a carbon fiber frame. And this type of carbon fiber is encased in a resin, but you can see that the sides are all milled down. So I'm going to see if this also leaves any residue and what these look like under the microscope as well, just as a comparison and contrast to the filaments we work with. So first up on the microscope here, this is the Coax Nylex Glass Reinforced Nylon. Uh, you can see there's actually a little splinter coming off there already. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the end here. So these are the ends of the Coax Nylex. The one on the top here is the one that I broke, and this one I cut with a pair of flush cutters. And if we look at the end here, you can see this one doesn't really have any fibers protruding up this is the one i cut and the one that i broke doesn't really have many at all so in the nathan builds robot video you would see like the fibers shooting up and i don't know if it's just because we're using different materials but this doesn't look terrible so we're going to do the rub test where i'm just going to put my finger here and rub the filament on there and see if i get any splinters little microscopic splinters in here from the last fiber let's see I even drag the ends on there how's that okay so I don't know about you guys but I don't really see anything on my fingers there's like a couple little tiny specks but no fibers coming off of that the next one I have here is our spaghetti carbon fiber PETG. You can see the surface is a little rough, but it's definitely smoother than the Nylex we just looked at. I'm going to go ahead and bend this and break it off to show you guys the difference of a cut end versus a bent end. So give me a second here. So we have the end that I bent, which is that more tapered end. I bent that until it broke and I don't really see any fibers sticking out of that. Here's the end we cut, that looks pretty smooth. Now let's go ahead and see if this leaves any residue on our fingers. And I don't see any fibers sticking in my fingers from this. I even drag the ends here. Okay, still nothing. All right, this next one is PETG carbon fiber from Atomic. Just another carbon fiber I'd laying around. You can see it looks very similar to our spaghetti. It's smooth, but has like kind of a texture to it. I don't see any fibers like poking out of it though. So I went ahead and this is the cut end on the bottom. And the top is the one that I just broke apart. I don't see any fibers sticking out of there. We're going to go ahead and see if it leaves any residue on my fingers. Sorry about the shaky hands. But I don't really see anything. Like, I was honestly expecting to see a ton of stuff. Like, there's some... A little black flex, but those aren't fibers like Nathan was showing in his video. Let me drag the ends across it. 
yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything coming off on these, which I was honestly expecting to see it come off based on his video. Now, the last one we're going to look at is just some green ABS. Nothing special here. You can see how much smoother the non-filled materials are. I'll go ahead and break it and then show you guys the difference between the cut end and the broken end. So here we go. Here's just ABS. You can see the cut end on the bottom there, the broken end at the top. Obviously, there's no fibers in here, but just for consistency, I'll go ahead and rub this on my finger and see if we get any residue. I'm going to drag the ends across. And I don't, I don't see anything. So this is all for the filaments we looked at. We got the coax nylex at the top. We got our spaghetti carbon fiber pad G in the middle here. The next middle one is the atomic PETG CF. And then just for kind of a control, we have our easy choice ABS. As you can see, they all have a pretty smooth outer finish. The nylex is a little bit rougher, but again, I didn't get any splinters in any of my fingers when I was rubbing these on here. I was honestly expecting to get some, and I'm wondering if it's just because the materials we have encapsulate the carbon fiber a lot better than some of the other ones he was testing. I know he was testing some of the bamboo and the Creality ones. So again, these are filaments from three different manufacturers. The top one's from Coex. This one's, the next one down from there is our spaghetti carbon fiber. Third one down is Atomics carbon fiber PETG and then at the bottom is just a green ABS from our easy choice line So the other thing I wanted to look at was the edges of The drone frame and you can see they look to be pretty smooth. They were milled out. I don't think I'm gonna get anything on my fingers from there Doesn't look like it So this whole video has been kind of uneventful so I'm a little confused. I was surprised that none of the filaments with the carbon fiber left any sort of fibers in my hands because in the Nathan Builds Robots video, he very clearly showed fibers getting stuck in his hands. I have three different brands of filaments, two are carbon fiber and one's a glass filled, and none of them left any sort of splinters in my hands when I was doing the test that I showed before here. Now that doesn't mean that you can't get these little fibers in your hands. I guess it just comes down to the brand of film you're using, what kind of carbon fiber fill they're using, whether it's like a ground up fill or it has continuous fibers. It also may have to do with the type of plastic that's encasing them, whether it's PLA, PETG, nylon, etc. That all being said, I myself am not concerned with any brand of filament and handling it, but if you are somebody that is concerned about getting little splinters in your hands, whether it's from a carbon fiber filament or a glass fiber filament, the easiest way to avoid this is to just go ahead and put on a set of gloves while handling the material and the printed parts. And the best way to encapsulate any fibers on the printed parts is to just spray them down with a quick coat of clear coat as that's going to bond to the fibers and make them stick to the part. I will be placing a general notice on our carbon fiber filaments just to let people know that there is a risk that you could get little fibers in your hands and to wear gloves while handling the parts and the filament if you're concerned about getting the splinters in your hands while you're handling the parts and or the filament. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and as always, happy printing!